Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Jupiter. I'm Ray Ray. And I'm Detroit. And we have your news for Monday, October 3rd, 2022. For today's student selfie of the day, we have Sean Podlesnick. He is a sophomore and is a part of the Robotics Club. He is also a JROTC member and is the king of lightsaber wars. He is also in me and Ray Ray's chemistry class. Shout out, Ms. John. And he was in my biology class last year. Shout out, Ms. Knott. Homecoming update. Our homecoming dance is rescheduled for Friday, October 14th. Homecoming Spirit Week activities will be held on October 17th through 21st. The homecoming football game and senior night will be Friday, October 21st against Forest Hill. Attention seniors, you will be able to vote for homecoming king and queen starting Wednesday, October 12th via the Google Classroom. Voting will close by Thursday, October 13th by the end of the school day. Only one vote per person will be accepted. Join the class of 2023 Google Classroom to stay updated on all senior related activities. The football game with Royal Palm is rescheduled today at 6 p.m. This will be a normal home game. Senior recognition is now October 21st versus Forest Hill. The girl volleyball team plays on Thursday against the Wire. Boys soccer. For all returning and new players, please get your athletic packet done as soon as possible. If you need any help, please come to the gym or 10106. Trials will start on Monday, October 17th. Where and when will be determined, so listen to the announcements. If you do not have your athletic packet done, you cannot try out, so get it done before October 17th. Introducing this year's first athlete of the week, Trinity Quick. Trinity is a senior on the varsity volleyball team and has been a player for the past four years. Trinity works extremely hard on the court and in the classroom. Thank you, Trinity, for representing Jupiter High School and what it all is all about. If you are interested in any of these colleges or universities, come to the guidance office to sign up and get your pass. You will need a pass to attend. World Ethics Club. If you are interested in discussing and debating controversial topics in a respectful and inclusive manner, there will be a World Ethics Club meeting after school on Tuesday, October 11th in room 4118. Join the Google Classroom for more details and vote on our next topic. Attention Best Buddies. We will be having a lunch meeting on Tuesday, October 11th during both lunches. Lunch A will meet in room 4213 and lunch B will meet in room 4106. Be sure to bring your lunch and your Chromebook with you. Can't wait to see you there. My Friend's Closet. Friday, October 14th is the first clothing drive for My Friend's Closet and will be held at 8 a.m. at Jupiter Elementary School. Anyone is welcome. And five community service hours will be given for attending the event. Three hours for your time spent collecting and organizing every bag of clothes donated. National French Honor Society will have its meeting at 7 a.m. on Thursday, October 6, 2022. The meeting will be held in Portable 36 in Madame Jerowin's room. Please make sure to pay your dues of $25 before the meeting. The induction ceremony has been scheduled for October 18th. Make sure to accept the invitation to the Google Classroom if you've already done so and look for the announcements posted. Inkwell Incorporation is a magazine dedicated to show showcasing artistic talent at Jupiter High. This year's theme is Rainbows of Emotions. We are looking for pieces that make us feel all the color of the rainbows. All stories, photographs, and artwork are welcome. Join our Google Classroom for updates and further information to find the form for submissions. The deadline to submit is November 19th and we'll celebrate the magazine's release with a launch party. Recent Events Club. Students interested in helping those in need or wish to earn community service hours, join the new service club dedicated to helping victims of recent natural disasters. The club will work to provide needed supplies to the victim of these tragedies. For more information, join our Google Classroom or see club founders Lizzie Osteen in Cali Godina. Softball. Any girl interested in playing softball and has not picked up a player information form, please come by and get one from Coach Aaron in Portable 3. There will be a mandatory player slash parent meeting on Thursday, October 6th at 6 p.m. in room 10106. If you for some reason cannot attend, you need to see Coach Ahern. National English Honor Society. New members. Please stop by room 1155 to confirm your account and get the Google Classroom code. Returning members, stop by for a t-shirt selection and the Google Classroom code. Juniors, the deadline to sign up for the PSAT and MSQT has been extended until October 9th. Please pay the fee on palmbeach.schoolcashonline.com. And the birthday of the day, happy birthday to Big Country, Mrs. Sanders, Marco Cordoza, Manuela Cristobal, 
Haley Fine, Fiona Fisher, Kyla Gibbons, August McKenzie, Raylan Mogg, Gabriel Mooney, Gail Morales, and Sawyer Sanford. Happy birthday. Stay tuned for Felix and the class of 2025 candidate speeches. Yo, what is up, Jupiter High? It is your boy, Felix. I can't believe I played music in front of you all guys at the pep rally. I want to thank Mr. Leonardo and SJ for making this happen. And also, I would love to do it again. That is, if any guys are okay with that. Now here's your joke of the week. Why did a cookie go to a nurse? Because he felt crummy. And stay tuned for your minute of silence and have a nice week, warriors. Hi, my name is Addison Glode, and I'm running for president of the class of 2025. I'm qualified for this position because I've been on student council since elementary school. In fact, I've been president a couple of times. I'm also the spirit chair of SGA, which shows my dedication to our school and class. It also shows that I'm a hard worker. I'm also organized and dedicated to our school and class, which is shown through my participation in clubs. And my work on the student news last year showed how strong my communication and speaking skills are. As president, I plan to hold fundra fundraisers to help us pay for our prom and senior activities. I also want to make sure that all of our class knows what is going on and what they have to do. By communicating with teachers and students, we can make sure that our class has an awesome experience. I also want to plan more community service events so that everyone can graduate with more than 20 hours. In conclusion, I'm a hardworking student with a lot of experience that is prepared to do all that I can to make sure our next three years of school are fun and informative. Hashtag vote for the GOAT. Hi, my name is Madison Johnson and I am currently the class of 2025 treasurer. However, this year I would love to be your class president. I am qualified for this position because I'm the manager of two sports teams at our school. I held a position in class officers last year completing it thoroughly. Next year is our junior year, which means we will be putting on prom, one of the most important events of the year, especially for the class of 2024. We should have a president who will work hard to make it the best experience possible. I know you didn't see much of us last year, but this year with me as your president, that will change. I have already reached out to multiple organizations, such as animal shelters, for more community service opportunities. I would coordinate with the other classes to put on more fun events throughout the year. I would listen to your opinions and put them into action. And finally, I would love to put on an end of the year get together for the sophomores. I think that we can all agree that high school is an extremely stressful time, but with me as your president, I can make it a little more fun. If you want an organized, honest and determined president, vote for me, Madison Johnson. Thank you. Yo, Jupiter High Sophomores, this is your man, Dax the Max. I am here to tell you I am running for sophomore vice president. Jupiter High is a great school, but do you know what makes Jupiter High awesome? It's you, class of 2025. We take it to the max with athletics and clubs. I love Jupiter High and I have a, a goal to make to take each day to the max with school spirit. That means high-fiving friends in the hallway, finding a new group of students to eat lunch with pet rallies, football games, and you name it. Dax is ready to support the sophomore class. If I'm elected as vice president, I pledge to be a strong voice for our class that dedicate my time to take this year to the max and practice kindness every day by being a supportive friend to all sophomores. Class of 2025, do you want to take this year to the max with Dax? I'm your guy. Dax, the max cannon for vice president. Hello students of Jupiter High School. My name is Katherine Anglum and I am running for Vice President for the class of 2025. Some of you may not know who I am at all, so a little about me. 
I'm a triplet, I am involved in the JROTC program, and I am in the medical academy. I have also grown up in Jupiter for the majority of my life. I love to focus on academics and spend my free time with my family. I also love to run and participate in community runs for charity. Some things I have done to help support our class are helping build the Class of 2025 homecoming float, participating in the Class of 2025 beach cleanup, and serving as your vice president for freshman year. I've also been involved in many different community service activity, activities with different organizations at the school, for, such as selling chocolate for HOSA to assisting in the JHS Festival of the Bands last year. Additionally, I have been on different teams such as cross country and the marksmanship team. And I have been involved in organizations such as HOSA and the Night of the Werewolf Club. I am organized, responsible, and driven, and I genuinely want to make the school a better place and make the students here look forward to coming to school a little bit more every day. I am a great listener, and I want to do whatever I can to make your voices heard. Please give me all the suggestions that you would like to see implemented into different activities that we have going on for our class. Vote for someone who cares about your needs. Vote for someone who won't pick whatever their friends want them to choose. Vote for someone who will advocate for you, someone who cares about what you want and need. Vote for me, Katherine Anglum, for your Vice President of the Class of 2025.